Hi everyone, in this video let's talk about JavaScript functions. Very specifically, we're going to talk about function declaration and function expression. Function declaration is very simple and the traditional way of writing function in JavaScript. All you have to do, you start with a function and then the function name. So this is just very simple. You can just pass parameters and argument if you want. If not, this is all you have to do. You create a function and then you just do a bunch of things or you return something if you want to. So it is a declaration, it's not a statement or expression. So function declaration is also hoisted. What it means is basically, whenever you're going to declare something in JavaScript, like this way, so we are declaring a function, it's going to be uh, moved to the top of its own scope. So the scope of this one is this file. So if you call the function one in line one, it will still work. There is no error. If you call it even after, it will still work. That's why it's hoisted. And it means it's moved to the top of the containing scope. And as I said, you can also call it before you declare it. So you can see in line one, we're not even not get to the line seven, but still is valid and it works. So to prove the point, if you just do, you can see there is no error and everything works fine. On the other hand, now we have function expression. Function expression is a little bit different. You can see we still have the same thing here. So I'm gonna close this one. We still have the same things here, but we use expression. We just put it like, for example, it could be all of these things which we're gonna explain all of them, but we are expressing a function and then putting the value of that function in a, a variable. You can see this is, for example, anonymous express function. This is a named function expression. So let's let's see what's the different. The different is this is in this case this is not hoisted. If now I call function two, uh, it should work. There is no error. So I'm gonna just let's also open the terminal. Everything is fine. But the moment that I move this one to the top. And now I run it, I should get error. With a function declaration, it's gonna be hoisted. Function expression is not hoisted. So you need to define your function first, then go and just call that function. The same thing apply here, there is no different. So we're using anonymous function, they are using a name function, but it applied to both of them. But you can see, it's defined when that line is reached. So any any time before line 11, you cannot use function two and not before line 17, you can use function three. It's not hoisted. It can be anonymous. You can see it can be anonymous. It can be named. That's what we talk. It can be IIFE or IFE. It could be arrow function. It could be callback and it could be higher order function. We will talk about all of these things uh, in the next file, but you can see you have more flexibility. It doesn't take any, for example, memory in that case, because if you don't get to line 11, for whatever reason, it's not gonna just, uh, it's not gonna execute this line. But with a function declaration, it will be always run on top of the scope. So if you're thinking about memory, then this is more efficient because if you don't reach line 11, for whatever reason, if there is a loop, if there is an if statement, then it's not gonna just go and uh, run this, this function. So in that sense, it's better. In the other sense, then you, can, you cannot call a function before you declare it. Let's talk about other types of functions in JavaScript as well. So we have IIFE or IFE, which is immediately invoke function expression. It's a function that executes right after it's created. So basically the, the syntax is very simple. You create a function, which is this bit, and then immediately run it. So in a nutshell, it's basically something like this. So you have a function that your function does something. So it could be again, anonymous function, it doesn't matter. So you can see this is also iffy as well. It doesn't do anything, but it's a function that get invoked immediately. So this one is immediately invoking that function. And whatever is here, it could be just, it's gonna be run. So that is 
IIFE or IFE immediately invoke function in JavaScript. Then you have arrow function, which everybody knows with a callback. Obviously your callback is a function. So you're calling a function inside the function. And then you have higher order functions. Higher order function is generating a function. And then you can call that one. For example, now we have a greater than function. So you can see it returns a function and that function is going to use the input from the higher function so which is returning if m bigger than n or not so you can see now here we are using greater than so this is the function so using greater than and then we're calling 10 this 10 at the beginning is n so the first argument you pass is what you see because it's greater than has the n so now as a result of that it's going to be greater than 10 so this is going to be a function remember here in a higher order function we are returning a function so we're returning another function which is greater than 10 and now if we are just calling that function greater than 10 now the second time you have another argument which is m now you're gonna pass m greater than 10 well, we're passing 11. Is 11 greater than 10? Yes, it will return true. And we can check that one as well. So let's quickly, you can see we're gonna get true because we are getting uh, 10 is bigger than 11. And if I call it, for example, one, we should get false. And that actually works as well. So basically a higher order function, return a function, that that function uses a previous uh, argument that you pass to the function. So you can see, for example, we created greater than 10. 10, now it's been always used because we have stored it here. So this is a function which already knows the value of 10. Then it's going to compare everything with 10. So this is a higher order function as well. So I'm gonna just change this one to false. Here, if you want to know more, you can go to the MDN website, so developer.mozilla.org, and then if you look for the functions, you can see quite a lot of things about JavaScript functions. JavaScript functions could be sometimes tricky, depends on how you're gonna use them, so it's better to know all different types of functions and then see what is the best thing for your choice. So if you have to use if or arrow, arrow function, function expression, function declaration, or at least when you see them and if you're going to debug your code, you know what's happened, why there is a hoisting, or why like there is an error, and etc. etc. So this is like a very uh, detailed documentation about JavaScript function. It doesn't take that much of time to read it, but if you read it, pretty much you're gonna just learn quite a lot of things about JavaScript functions, and uh, you, you can see them in action. There are a lot of examples as well. But basically, the majority of things are here that I tried to explain. So we have function declaration, which is hoisted, function expression, which is not hoisted, and this is the version you can see. And then we have different types of function like uh, callback, higher order function, we have arrow function, we have, and then IIFE, or immediately invoked function expression. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to talk about JavaScript function. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.